I think it's time to mill up some ash for our log cabin floor. Now, this log I got in Kingston. Well, I got a whole bunch of them actually. I got the whole tree. We've milled up most of it already. I'll show you the stack right there. Log cabins need floors. And you can't beat a good old ash floor. Haven't worked out the board feet yet, but they're beautiful. Check that in. This is five inch, five inch wide, four quarter thick, so just a little over an inch. So when it dries, and hopefully we can get them planed out to about uh, well planed and molded, tongue and groove. We'll see if that's going to be possible. If not, we'll figure something out. But uh, they should be hopefully around an inch thick. That's what I'm hoping. Those are eight footers. I think I was gonna do a cabin. Very sweet. So we have the wood miser. We're gonna fire it up. And do a little bit of a little bit of milling. Oh, oh, you use just diesel? You gotta have all this equipment I find when you're doing this milling. If you wanna really produce any kind of, kind of quantity and quality. It's too hard to move stuff without it, man. Hard on the body. Hard on the body. Come ahead, son. Shift this way. Wood. Okay. It's too much. Just uh, tilt forward now. Tilt forward more. Huh? More. Keep going. Just hold it there. Uh, oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, look at you, you're a beauty. Now, what I like to do is I like to use my tape measure and I come across the back of the log and I measure that and by eyeball, it's about 19 and three quarters. And I do the same with the front. And well, I can't do it right there because it's not quite reaching there. So I'll do it right here. And it's about 19 and a half. Not a bad starting point. That way we have the log leveled up. Come ahead, bud. You good? Might as well just lower it right down. There you go. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you get the log leveled out, you're not gonna waste material, right? It's kind of the way you wanna do it. Now we're cutting five inch boards, one inch thick, so we're gonna try to get as many out of this as we can. It's 18 inches across. Let's see if he gave me the butt end. Uh, this is a little bit smaller, it's about 17. So the butt is here. Usually I like the butt back here, a little easier to eyeball and you don't lose or waste as much material. But this is a pretty, uh, you know, consistently kind of thick log throughout. So we'll be all right. So if I can make, yeah, we can get some good boards out of that. Hopefully I can make two five inch cans out of that. Now, cans are big 
rectangular lumps of log, basically. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, got to put my hearing protection in. Too darn loud. Now, the first thing you want to do is take your round log and make two flat sides so you get yourself a 90. Then you can work off that. So, we'll make the top flat. We're gonna roll that log a little bit. Otherwise, I see some twisting in that. You know what's gonna happen? The pit is the center of the log and it's way off on this one. So, when it's way off, it means that it's got some stretch and tension. It's okay if they bow, we don't want warp. Warp in fact. Now, I don't know. Let's see if we get this right. Now the thing about ash is that they've got quite a bit of sapwood. The sapwood you really don't want for your floor. Too bad. Get first cut. That's one side flat, right? Now we want to make our Perpendicular, your 90 degree, 90 degree cut here. Hydraulics are great, man. You get to move this log wherever you need it.
kind of want to end up at 10 inches. That way I can get myself the two pants that I want. Let's see what I'm talking about. Now we get to slam our five inch wide boards out. Always cleaning up. Tidying up. Cleaning up. Nice. Now I've got to clean up those extra little pieces that I milled. Those uh, wider slabs. They're kind of, they're not off cuts, but they're the, in the process of making the cans. You got to clean them up in the end, right? That's a good load.
probably taking my life into my own hands here, aren't I? Are you down? Uh, hold on, pick it up. Like, do one of these. Nice. Uh, hopefully we don't set that on fire. <laughs> 